Hi, this is Adrian Gomez again from, uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, I'm helping somebody from the boards with their game. And I figured I would put some of these up on YouTube for those that are interested. Now, I'm going to take a step back from the other videos I've made and uh, try to simplify them because uh, it was, they are very complicated. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a simple register and uh, user login. Okay, so, the, so for the register, I come in here under configurator and I go into um, credentials and you get this page, the credentials page. And I, there's a green button here you can't see, but if you click on it, right on this, it, it says add. And uh, this screen comes up. You see, it's asking add credentials. And I'm not going to save this because I already created the credentials. So uh, the first one that we're going to do is register a user. And um, I'm going to click on the edit button here so you can see what it looks like. And I put uh, register, register as the name, uh, description, register the player. I have it as callback on and rest policy allowed. And then I go in here and I toggle all the requests off except registration request. And uh, all these are also toggled off. And then I click on save and close. Uh, and you see here, this is the secret. And if I, if you go to your game, you have your GameSpark API key. And then I'm going to show you the code. The code is going to be under cloud code. And it's going to be under callback. It's going to be the register code. And we accept three parameters, the password, the username, the display name. And then we send a registration send request. We're sending a request here. And you see how, how nice uh, GameSpark provides some um, inline documentation. And uh, the class is registration request, the display name, username, Display name, password. Uh, I think you need to put the segments in there, and the username is the username that we sent in. And here, uh, this is the response, the registration response. If we don't have an error in the registration response, we send success. If we do have an error, then uh, rewrite it to the log is an error. And um, The response raw status is empty, and that will turn into uh, a negative one, I think, or a zero in in uh, game salad. So, what does the URL look like? Uh, I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna show you. So, hmm, I forget which one is mine. I think this one's mine. So this is the registration uh, preview. You see this portion here of the URL is the is your game. API key. That's what this is this. And then if I go into credentials. This here, the secret, that you could reset with this button. This secret here is this part of the of the URL. And then the parameters that we have are username, Adrian, password, and the display name. So I already register this. If I try to register it again, I'll get an error. So I'm gonna make it uh 
Jose, which is my middle name, and the password, I'm going to make, uh, it could be the same password, it doesn't matter, and I'm going to make it Jose. Adrian Jose, that's my, my full name, uh, without their surnames. And I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to show you in, uh, I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm just going to paste it in there and go. And uh, hopefully it won't crash. And then you see it says here status success. That means that that uh, that uh, that person has been registered. Now this is something that isn't a hundred percent clear. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, first, I'm gonna delete the one I have. So you see I have players and I'm going to delete it. And I deleted that and I don't think I have to save it. And if I go to manage, you see that all it has is an admin screen. So I'm gonna go in here and click on import. And I'm gonna say player management. I'm gonna import this for this particular game. Uh, and then it created a player's management console. So sometimes it takes a little bit, but not today. You see, it says players. So now I could go back to manage players. And, and here it is. And um, I could do, well, I just register. I don't know if it'll show up last scene. Is greater. And I'm going to pick a date in the past uh, to see if it doesn't show it up. So I think I made the username Jose. So let's see if I can find it that way. And there it is. Username, display name. And that is the user I just registered. Now how, how you would do this from... Uh, from GameSpark is that again you would construct this URL um, if you have some UI where the person can type in their username and password and the display name and if not then you have to construct this somehow with some uh, date and time and device information uh, and now I'm going to show you the login the login is uh, pretty much the same so I go back into credentials And uh, I created a credential for login, user login. You can click on edit, just so you see. User login, user login, login user, on, callback, res policy allow. In this case, all of them are toggled off except authentication requests. Uh, now I'm going to go to the cloud code. And under callbacks, see my user login. Again, take the password and the username, Spark send request, the type authentication request, username, password, authentication. If I get an error, if I don't get an error, then I send a success. If I do get an error, I send a blank, and that translates into a negative one out in uh, Game 7. To construct the URL, again, this is the API key for your app, and this is the secret for the credential for your app. And this is the Adrian, this is the URL name, and if I type in Jose, and I think I kept the password as Adrian Test, and I copy this into your URL. And then you see that, uh, that it's a success there. 
And actually, if I go back um, to the admin and I go to players, and it'll slow this evening, it's probably my internet. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna find myself. Hope, Jose, not test. You will see that Jose, uh, although it's not updating, there's no request. Um, I yeah, know that's interesting that there's no request, but I guess because it's just a login request. But he probably is logged in. And that's all I have to show for today. Um, in my next video, I'm going to show you the, the game sounded portion in case it's not clear from me just talking about it. I hope you enjoy this video and until next time.